A differential thermostat uses probes to sense temperature and regulate the flow of heat from a solar collector to a heat storage tank. Probes are encapsulated sensors that sense temperature differences. The temperature differential between probes may be processed by a differential controller. This turns the pump on and off at appropriate times to maximize solar heat gain. Since temperature probes are such an important part of all solar thermal applications, I've decided to demonstrate three common temperature sensors. A thermocouple can be used to generate a voltage potential. A thermistor changes resistance as temperature is applied. The LM34 puts out a voltage proportional to the temperature that's applied. We'll be looking at three different kinds of temperature probes today. And the first one we want to look at is a very simple thermocouple. Uh, now the thermocouple uh, is interesting. It, it actually generates a voltage due to the temperature that's applied to the thermocouple junction. The thermocouple consists of two dissimilar metal alloys and they're at the junction uh, they respond to temperature by generating a, uh, a very small voltage potential. Now uh, the temperature that we're going to apply is going to come from me, so don't expect a heck of a lot. But let's say if we can raise the temperature. I, now I'll be able to raise the temperature by about uh, 10 degrees. All right, you can see the temperature going, the, uh, the voltage going up at the junction already. We're up to 0.5 millivolts. Oh boy, whoopee! 0.5 millivolts, that's all I'm worth today. Okay, anyway, uh, we are uh, generating a voltage due to temperature. Now if I release the probe, uh, you should see the the uh, voltage start to drop. Now it's down to 0 0.4, 0 0.3, and 0.2, and so on. Okay, so anyway, this is one type of temperature probe. Now the only problem with this kind of probe is that the voltage that it generates is so small, it's very uh, difficult uh, to, to build a, a stable differential controller based on this kind of technology. It can be done, but um, there are other ways of doing it, and we'll be looking at those ways in just a moment. A thermistor changes resistance as temperature is applied. Okay, the next temperature probe that we want to look at is a thermistor. Now, a thermistor responds to temperature by changing its resistance as the temperature changes. Uh, this is a negative response uh, transistor. In other words, the uh, resistance goes down as the temperature increases. Uh, so right now we're looking at the resistance across the thermistor and it's 5.8K. Uh, Actually this is a uh, 5K thermistor which means that at or approximately room temperature, whatever that is, I don't know, uh, about 75 degrees or so, it depends on what you want to call room temperature, it's a, um, the resistance would be about 5K. Right now the temperature is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, um, if I apply temperature to this thermistor, we should be able to see the resistance drop. Now watch as I apply temperature. I'll put my big thumb on it. Now you can see the temperature start to drop. All right, we're already down to 5K. And it, it's still dropping. It's 4.6K. That's uh, 4,600 ohms. Oh, well, we're still dropping. 4.3K. Okay. Anyway, you can see the, the, the resistance uh, drop as the temperature increases. Unfortunately, this response is nonlinear. So if we want to use a thermistor 
to monitor temperature, it's a little difficult. We'd have to set up some special circuitry to monitor. So it's not the best way to monitor temperature. However, thermistors do make excellent uh, temperature probes that can be used with uh, differential controllers. Okay, I, that's all I wanted to show you. Now, you'll see the resistance start to go up as the temperature decreases. So there we have the thermistor. The LM34 puts out a voltage proportional to the temperature that's applied. The thermistor that we were just looking at makes an excellent temperature probe uh, that can be used in a differential controller. The only problem is, is that it doesn't, uh, it, it's not a, the best way to uh, monitor uh, temperature because the um, response to temperature is nonlinear. Okay, so it's going to generate a different resistance. It, it's not a, a linear response uh, to a resistance change. Anyway, uh, we do have something that can be used for a differential controller and also be used to monitor temperature. This is called an integrated uh, circuit temperature sensor. There are a number of different types. So this particular one is an LM34. So uh, what you're looking at is the voltage that's being generated by the LM34. It's 0.72 volts. Now the supply volt is actually 20 volts, but the output from, from this is uh, 0.72 volts. And that represents a temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Now just by applying a little uh, temperature to the probe, by putting my heavy thumb on it, uh, we can raise the temperature, or already up to 0 0.78, or which would be 78 volts. Uh, some, I'm sorry, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, or up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Boy, I'm really getting hot. Okay, anyway, so we release the temperature probe, and we should see the temperature start to drop now. Now it's down to 80, 79. Seventy-seven. Okay, so the temperature on the probe is dropping, um, and uh, this this is an excellent uh, tool for measuring the actual temperature, and uh, it can also be used uh, in a uh, differential controller. Of the three temperature probes mentioned, I recommend either the thermistor or the IC temperature sensor. As you can see from this graph, the thermistor response to temperature is nonlinear compared to the actual temperature. Thermistors may be used to sense temperature differences, but they should not be used to monitor temperature. The video Solar Controller demonstrates how thermistors and IC temperature sensors are used by differential controllers to maximize solar heat gain.